Hello and welcome to the Nitro Minify video. My name is Roby and this video will explain how to use Nitro Minify, a key feature of Divi Nitro. If you'd like to supplement this video with some screenshots and text, please check out our documentation site at help.diviengine.com where you'll find all the support you need. So without further ado, let's get going. As you can see, the Nitro Minify page has been divided into four horizontal sections. At the top is a short introduction with a link to the documentation, and underneath that you'll see the checkbox that lets you enable the Nitro Minify helper. Let's check that box and hit the save button. Now before you can start using the Nitro Minify helper, you must clear the cache. Caching is something you must know about if you are to successfully build any website. Caching technology speeds up the internet by storing copies of website files at various locations, such as your browser. The downside of caching is that if you edit the website using any theme or plugin, you may not see the changes right away. Now the solution to that is to clear the cache after editing your Divi site. If you'd like to know how to clear your cache for your browser or for the Divi theme, please check out our YouTube channel where you'll find some instructional videos on this very topic. Okay, so after clearing the cache, let's make our way to the front end of our site and click the Nitro Minify button at the top right corner of the page. After doing this, an overlay will be displayed that's divided into three sections. The top section contains the names of the JavaScript files that we're able to work on, and the middle section contains all the CSS files that we can work on. I'm going to start off by working on the CSS files, then the JavaScript. Your job here is to copy all the CSS file names and paste them into the CSS Minification input queue on the Nitro Minify page. Now this is where the troubleshooting starts because as I mentioned in the Divi Nitro overview video, minifying computer code is an excellent way to speed things up on your website, but it can also have some negative side effects. The most common side effect of minifying CSS is to break the style of your Divi website. Your job is to clear the cache, then go through your website page by page to see if any of the styles have been broken. If you do find that something has been broken, you're going to have to come back to this page and troubleshoot by removing the CSS file names one at a time. The moment your website styles back to normal, you found the culprit. To understand this a little bit better, let's take a look at a live example. Okay, so as you can see, the style for this website is completely broken. We've already minified and combined the CSS, but now we need to troubleshoot which CSS file is the one we need to exclude from the minification process. We go through and what we're going to do is we can select this Divi style sheet and delete it from the queue and save the page and then refresh on the front end. Okay, so when we hit the refresh button now, we'll see that my page is returned back to normal. This is fantastic because I was lucky enough to guess the right script the first time around. Realistically, you'll have to do this two or three times before you find the correct script, but as soon as things are back to normal, you can go ahead and hit the save button once you've removed that script from the queue. Also on the front end now, if we double check that Nitro Minify button again, we'll see the list of all the scripts and all the ones that have been combined and minified are red and they are struck through. You'll see that our Divi style script on the bottom though is without a strike through. This shows us that this script is not being minified any longer. Okay, so what we can do now is copy the Divi style CSS file and paste it into a new queue and follow the steps that we just went through. Save the changes, clear the cache, and view. Minifying Divi style may or may not break the website again. If it does, then this means that Divi style cannot be minified and it should be left alone. However, if it works in a new queue, then we're good to go. And just as a note here, files that commonly break the CSS files for the Divi website are your Divi style file, the parent theme file, and the child theme file. After successfully minifying and combining the CSS files for your Divi website, you must now move on to the JavaScript and follow the exact same steps. Go to the home page, click Nitro Minify in the top right, copy the JavaScript file names, and then paste them into the JavaScript minification queue. Let's hit the save button and again, we'll have to clear the cache. So hit that clear cache button and then start the troubleshooting. The most common negative side effects of minifying and combining JavaScript is the breaking of some functionality on your Divi site. 
the most common JavaScript files to cause problems are the following. It's the ET common core and Divi custom script files. The last thing we want to do here is to enable the inline script minification by checking the radio button and hitting save. Please know that inline minification along with loading the CSS asynchronously are two of the most common features to break a Divi website. Uncheck this if any issues come up. Thank you for watching this Nitro Minify video. We hope that you're one step closer to speeding up your Divi websites using the powerful features that you can find within Divi Nitro. If you have any questions, please refer to our documentation at help.divyengine.com. And if you're still stuck, please submit a ticket so we can help you out. All right, guys, see you next time.